Thank you. Thank you, President Yi, for the recap of where we've been, and uh, welcome everyone. This is uh, a great opportunity. It's about two weeks short of a full year for me, and uh, in terms of the kind of the start off, last July one was um, the charge was to get in and get going. We had local control back, and, and how would we craft and understand where we were going to go and kind of coming out of uh, state administration and things that have been put in place, but also kind of running the business of the 9-10 school year. So we have done that. We closed out the school year. Uh, the graduations were phenomenal. We've um, been engaged in the devastating and hard work of managing and reducing the budget, and we've been committed to this strategic direction work. So over the course of the fall, uh, in small groups and large groups and in conversations, I began to listen and you know, engage and talk about what is it that we wanted to be true and brought that feedback back in January. And then we have been in this back and forth dialogue since January about what a strategic direction for Oakland Unified School District would and should look like, that it would be this board's this locally elected board's direction that then we would build Oakland's strategic plan based on. So uh, the big excitement for me today is that in this back and forth, and as President Yee said, it's been some of what I brought, some of what the community is asking for, and then the board feedback. And so what, coming out of the last meeting, um, different board members said, hey, I'd, I'd like to see a one-pager. Director London, <laughs> uh, I'd like to see how you actually plan to get all this done. I'd like to see the narrative that ties this um, PowerPoint all together. So what you have, and if those of you that haven't picked it up yet, in the front on the table, there's a packet with um, all of the documents that we're going to go through. And so I would encourage, if somebody could, hello, sir, uh, make sure that, if you don't have one, can you raise your hand? It's a packet that looks like this. So got a whole set of documents, great. So what's here is essentially a, a letter closing out the, the year, a uh, letter to community and inviting the, our entire community, the city of Oakland, to engage and work with us in creating a strategic direction that is basically designed to bring coherence, connection, and purpose to our whole community, to our city of Oakland, and use the resources, assets, and um, potential inside the Oakland Unified School District as that organization that would bring connection to Oakland. So that's framed out in a letter. And what I'm going to do now is actually take us through the one pager. And throughout this whole process, board members have said, I'd like to see where my comments are. I'd like to see, and we've done it in different ways in these um, work sessions. At the last session, you recall, we had really large post-its with each one of you had different feedback and we had, and whenever something would come up, we'd move that post-it. Um, today, what we did is embed your feedback from the last um, meeting and in uh, the one-to-ones into a single document. So I'm gonna talk through what all the documents are and then I'll go and work through and describe each one of them. So first is the letter that I said that I talked about a little bit. It's the one pager. Then the, the one pager that looks like this. Then part two, which is the plan and the how to's. And I do think uh, I have heard very loud and clear from board, from families, from philanthropy. These are some great ideas. How are you going to do it? Some really powerful vision, but you know where, where are the details? Uh, you know Thomas Edison talked about a vision without execution is hallucination. It is absolutely correct. And fortunately, in each of the last two districts I've been in, this is we've been able to translate um, passion, vision into concrete action. Um, and we'll have some of those tools to go through that, and you'll be able to go through that in the work plan. Then part three, and really directly in response to board members, uh, we created a framework that you will be able to see all of your specific feedback in, and we'll, we'll, go, we'll use this as a tool for our conversation. And then the last piece is the request for the narrative that, that weaves together all of the PowerPoint that we've done, been doing. Um, you have what's called Thriving Students, Unifying Oakland for the Academic and Social Success of Our Children. 
And this document is essentially the PowerPoint slides we've been working with, your feedback, community conversations, and now we have pulled it all together. Uh, people want to know, hey, you're talking about zones and regions. What does that look like? Uh, we've detailed that out. We've, the stuff that people have been asking for, we got here. And this is really, today is about the strategic direction and a move to request the board to adopt this as the direction that then we would develop the five-year strategic plan as a community and as a city for the Oakland Unified School District based on this direction. Uh, with that, I will kind of go back to our one pager. So those of you in the audience, this is the one pager, single page. And it's got part one, building the plan together, part one, 10 strategy areas at a glance. Now, it's a long glance. That's true. <laughs> um, and and uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was a good charge to try to get it all on one page, Director London. Thank you. Um, I, I'm a big fan of the, you know, <laughs> show me the, the quickie. So what we talked about is the different areas and foci that we've been uh, working on and, and people have been giving feedback on are really in, in two distinct areas. That we need to focus on high quality effective instruction, the conditions that support high quality effective teaching. What does it look like to take care of uh, the practitioners, the teachers? What does it look like to clarify good practice? How do you um, engage and support those conditions in and around and with community? How do you create the, the structures that make it possible to care for kids and families? So that's the high quality effective instruction on the top. In the middle, you have number six, which is the Quality Community Schools Development Group. It's a long name. Kind of growing out of all this conversation, what people kept coming back to, and in my conversations with families, in my conversation at home, <coughs> talking about our own kids, that everybody wants a high quality school in their neighborhood. That has to be the core of what we do. It has to be at the center of what we do. And how is it that we pull our entire organization to part around instruction and care for kids, but also how we're organized as an organization, what we do, you know, whether it's the back office stuff, it all has to be about ensuring a high quality school in every single neighborhood. In this bottom section, you have to become an organization that can do that. And there's been tremendous work done uh, and really positive academic uh, improvement in Oakland. And there have been some systems and structures implemented and we have a long way to go. Part of the change is moving to a full service community district. You need a different kind of organization that could actually care for schools in these ways. So we're calling that readying the organization for full service community schools. So that's these bottom seven, eight, nine, and 10. Uh, so this is all of the programmatic stuff on the left-hand side. Through the priorities that we talked about that, this, that the board and staff have worked back and forth on, the three priorities for our organization, safe, healthy, and supportive schools. And we've talked about not just the, the psychological safety and well-being inside of schools, but also the physical safety. And we've talked about our police officers. We've talked about school security officers. But we've also talked about the restorative justice work. We've talked about counselors. We've talked about ensuring that every child feels safe, well-known, and cared for inside of our schools. But they should be safe and known going to and from school as well. And high quality effective instruction is at the heart of what we're doing. We have to ensure that our young people and, and every one of our kids has a great teacher every year. And that, that's an aspiration. That's where we have to get. And I think we get there not by going and getting better, other, more, or by firing the bad ones. We've got to take care of the teachers we have. We have to support them and build their practice and ensure that we have high quality teachers in our organization and then work from there. And the third is that college and career readiness literacy, that's changing all the time. As college freshmen are entering right now in technology fields, they are being told that what you learn in your first course semester work will be outdated by the fourth year here. We have to prepare our young people for a readiness and a literacy that many of us don't know yet. But the critical thinking skills, the awareness, that's not just regurgitating information.